Hey guys. Hi. All right, you guys are the title. Slosh Ed Podcast. This is the Slosh Ed Podcast. Today we will be talking about movies. And, uh, yeah. So, I'll start us off with a movie. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Oh. Classic. Uh, if we're talking about ratings. Yeah. I. Listen. 10 out of 10 movie. I'll give it solid. A tier movie. 9 out of 10 film. How is it? A tier. You see, it just has this sort of, sort of like, you know, uh, kick in it feel. No, it doesn't. Like that one scene where uh, Riley says, Can I see my secret sprinkle? That has that sort of kick in it vibe. That was Fregly. It's. What? <coughs> Okay. And kicking it is the worst show in history. Not even close. That is a hot take. Uh, now, see, listen. I believe it's an S tier movie. What is? Is. Huh? I believe Diary of a Wimpy Kid is an S tier movie. Okay. Uh, I believe Roger Rules is an S tier movie. I believe Dog Days is an S tier movie. Valid, valid. Hot I take, said it. Hot take, hot take. Dog Days is the best of the trilogy. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. No, it's Roger Rules. Roger Rules is the best Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie I have ever seen. Wow. Like, there isn't four of them. Yeah. Now, speaking of trilogies... Star Wars? Mm -hmm. You know... (sighs) I'll take... The original first movie, episode four, is the best of the original trilogy. No. Huh? No. Huh? Hell no to the no, no, no. Personalized to the no. Opinion, all three of the original movies are S tier. Yeah, I agree. They're all 10 out of 10 movies. Okay. Okay. I also believe that Star Wars uh, I believe Episode 3 is a 9.9 out of 10. I believe that is an, that it is an S tier. Yeah, yeah. I believe Clone Wars is a A tier. Hold on, hold on. Uh, just allow me to delay this rating for a second. How come you don't put Episode Three in your coveted ten out of ten list? Now, listen. I don't actually have a reason for that, and because of that, I- I'm going to take it back. 10 out of 10. I got it in the S tier. It is amazing. Uh, yeah. Okay. Clone Wars, I got it in the A tier. Uh, Phantom Menace. I think that's a bit high. Phantom Menace, 
I got it in the. I got it in the. I got it in the. I got it. I, I got. Uh, uh, solid. Uh, I got it in the B tier. Solid D tier build. <sighs> it's like this kid forgot about Darth Maul. <coughs> Wasn't even that good. Okay. Force Awakens. I believe that is an S tier film. I am just being honest with you. I know hugs, hugs. Hold on, hold the phone. I know you are going to hate on it because it is recent. But I just said I like but, your opinion on it being S tier. But I believe it's an S tier. I believe it, it is. I believe it is a ten out of ten movie. Okay, in my opinion, it's a solid nine and a half out of ten. And it's the fifth best Star Wars film. Okay. Okay. I disagree. Now. In fact, see. I can even see a somewhat solid case for it being better than episode six. Now, see, now, see, now, see, I can definitely see that. But I believe that now I would put it in the fourth spot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And uh <coughs> uh what else? <laughs> How many movies were there after The Force Awakens? Uh, are we counting the sub movies like Solo or Star Wars or something? No. Uh, there was two. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. I believe that uh, The Last Jedi or The Last Skywalker or whatever the fuck it's called. Last, no, The Last Jedi. That was the last one, right? That was the eighth. So the last one. Well, the Sorry, second to last one. Ninth was uh, second the, to last. The yeah. Okay. I don't listen. Listen now. Listen. Listen, hugs. Listen. I, along with I assume the majority of people, don't remember anything from that movie. Besides, when Ray and Luke were training on a hill, and when Luke was fooling around with Kylo. That is all I remember. Yeah. Literally all I remember. Oh, and oh, I... It had that, uh, I guess when he died or whatever. It had that uh, Baby Yoda knockoff. Oh, yeah. That was heavily advertised. Yeah. Well... I would probably rank that... B tier. Okay. Of the scenes I do remember. Solid like F tier movie. Oh my fucking. I do not like the scenes that I remember. Which is probably collectively uh, maybe two minutes of screen time. I didn't like it. So F tier for what I remember. Okay. Episode 9. I thought episode 9 was just wild. Absolutely wild. I, just off the top, I'm putting it in the B tier. I, th I thought... Alright, so what's up guys? Tugs has joined the conversation. He's going to say episode 9 was an F-tier movie, worst movie ever. But we're talking about movies right now, we're talking about Star Wars. Alright, alright, here's my... Put it down, I'll be honest, yeah. I don't remember very much from episode 9. Yeah, we do. Here's what I do remember. The final fight scene, which was pretty bad. Amazing, I, I loved it. I did it. You're lying. You got all oh, that one scene that was in the trailer where Ray jumps over the, the 
Oh, no, shit. That was irrelevant. Oh, wait, Chewbacca got kidnapped or something, but he actually did it or something. Oh, that scene sucked after your scene. Did anybody cool die? Yeah, if you're a count, is he Well, he doesn't count. I think Kylo Ren died, I don't know. No, he didn't. So, did Kylo Ren die? No. Did... F no, 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 no. Oh, I doing like the, uh, Run. the final shot. It's time. 88, 88. For what? I think 80 is injured as well. All in all, just a pretty bad oh, movie off what I remember. Pretty bad movie, you say? Yeah. I'll put in the solid, solid F plus. No, you know what, Hook? Stop hating. F plus. It's the worst movie, movie ever made. I give it a B tier. I think. Listen. Listen. It's hard to end off You're such an amazing true. franchise, such as Star Wars. And you know what I don't like is when, <laughs> is when people hate on it. And they act like they could have done any better. And you couldn't. Okay, okay. I I couldn't because I don't know how to direct or shoot. No, you couldn't. 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 No. First thing I'm doing, Rain, knowing Palpatine doesn't come back. It's dead. But then who's the villain? Hear, hear me out. Darth Vader. That's so dumb. No, it's cool. No. No, it's cool. Yes. Alright, that's the video, guys. You know, we need to talk about more movies. How about Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Yeah. No. Nine out of ten movie. No, it's a wild movie. Okay, okay. I thought Ferris Bueller's Day Off, I mean, it's a classic. We all know that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I give it a nine out of ten, but I would say it's an S-tier mo S -tier movie. Holy, shut up. Uh... <laughs> How about Home Alone 1? Uh, 10 out of 10 S tier. Okay. Uh, uh, the Passion of the Christ. 1 out of 10 F tier. Alright. The now listen, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, I'm gonna keep it a bean with you, I'm gonna keep it everything with you. I do not remember a single scene from the entire Cars franchise. Not even the beginning scene where they were like on the road? Besides that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like yeah, yeah. Me and Thomas watched Cars 2 probably a couple months ago. Oh yeah, and you hated it. We don't care. Yeah, I did it. Because it's boring. Irrelevant. Hugs, it's made for seven-year-olds. And it's two hours It's made long. to sell Hot Wheels. And it's two hours long. <laughs> it's made to sell backpacks. All right, let's get crazy. Let's get really crazy. Marvel Avengers. What's that? Hear me out. I have never watched the original 2012 Avengers movie. Now listen, I have. It's pretty overrated. But I don't remember a single thing from the whole movie. It's pretty overrated. Okay. It's like... Barely top 10 million. Ass 10. Okay. What was the next one? Age of Ultron? You yeah. see, I liked the beginning scene with uh, 
It's worse than the first one. I liked the beginning scene where Captain America throws that one villain into the building and something happens. Fucker? Yeah. No, that was Civil War. Or it probably was. Well, I don't know then. I don't remember Age of Ultron, but I did see it in theaters. Yeah, we did. Well, that's good. Well, that's the video, guys.